Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. We tend to highlight a lot of animals on this channel. Lions, dogs, sharks, snakes, and so many other fascinating creatures. However, we haven't yet featured a video about horses. There's no reason why, so we'll remedy that right now. These great creatures have been a significant part of humankind for almost 4,000 years. And while their needed use has dwindled because of automobiles, they still hold use to us in modern society. How many of us, though, can name more than one or two horse breeds? There's many unique breeds that you may not be aware of, so let's take a tour of 10 of them right now. Number 10. The Madhavadi Horse The Madhavadi, or Malani horse, has its underlying roots in the Indian area of Marwar, thus the name. It's a very uncommon horse, which is presumably why you may never have heard of it, until now. The Madhavadi were the result of crossbreeding of Indian and Arabian horses. These horses ordinarily have a normal tallness of some were in the range of 147 to 157 centimeters, or 58 to 62 inches. However, this will change extensively subject to the area they live. They will quite often have thin legs and little hooves. Horse purchasers on the lookout for this particular breed mostly go for ones with skewbald or piebald coats. However, they have a wide variety to choose from. For example, the gray ones hold the highest importance, but the white ones are reproduced for religious purposes. Dark horses, though, are often neglected since their color represents death and disaster. One actual real trait that differs this horse from other breeds are their inward bending ears. Among horse fans, this breed is also valued for their toughness. Number 9. The Akhal Teke Horse The Akhal Teke is native to Turkmenistan, Central Asia. This horse is viewed as perhaps the oldest variety around. Horses of this breed have well-known speed and strength. Horse lovers also admire the breed's ability to bear through harsh weather conditions. As per records, there are around 6,000 of these horses right now, with a lot of them being in Turkmenistan and Russia. You're also additionally certain to find them all through North America and Europe. A normal Akhal Teke has a tallness of somewhere in the range of 100. 47 to 162 centimeters, or 58 to 64 inches. Its normal athletic structure gives it a lot of advantages which can prove to be useful in sports. For example, dressage, perseverance riding, show bouncing, racing, and eventing. So, in other words, the Akhal Teke horse is considered to be far more superior than the regular horses we see. It shows up on the escutcheon of Turkmenistan and stamps of Azerbaijan and the USSR. Number 8. The Black Forest Horse The Black Forest Horse is native to Germany. Germany, raised primarily to be a draft horse. A draft horse is utilized in hard tasks like plowing and harnessing. Such horses have an interminable measure of tolerance, strength, and an accommodating personality. Dissimilar to most other horse breeds, the Black Forest horses have a solitary coat tone, chestnut, but the correlation may vary from pale to dull to almost dark at times. In addition, how tall these horses grow depends on gender, with males likely to be taller. On average, males are between 150 to 160 centimeters, or 50 59 to 63 inches in tallness, while females fall somewhere in the range of 148 to 156 centimeters, or 58 to 61 inches. As a draft horse, the Black Forest has an extensive muscle and a short, heavy neck alongside solid, strong hooves. At first, this horse breed was utilized for the most part in ranger service and agriculture. However, today, its uses have stretched out to include riding. Interestingly, this breed of horse is currently considered to be jeopardized, as indicated by the Food and Agriculture Organization or the FAO. Number 7. The Gypsy Vanner The Gypsy Vanner has a lot of other names, too. The Gypsy Cob, the Gypsy Horse, the traditional Gypsy Cob, and the Irish Cob. As you can figure from one of the names, it's native to the island of Ireland. They are more of a small horse with proper built. For the majority of these Gypsy ponies, the coat is either piebald or skewbald. An exceptional quality of the Gypsy Vanner is the long hair on their lower legs, a feature known as feathering. It has one of the most majestic looks for any animal around. These horses have been used since the 1850s in the British Isles. They were utilized as a draft horse pulling Vardos, a type of cart and wagon. Nowadays, if you're planning to purchase a Gypsy Vanner, it's going to cost you a good sum of money. The horse itself may cost around 12,000 US dollars, but remember, there's maintenance costs on top of that. Number 6. White Horses of the Kamag The Kamag horses look exactly as if they came from a fairy tale. Alongside that, they are the only breed of horses to live in the wild. In the Kamag regions of southern France, you can find these breeds in the wetlands and marshes. These are both a variety of horses that are delightful, but harsh at the same time. They prefer to live in their specific territory and don't take kindly to invaders. As they were born in waters, they absolutely adore playing and getting around in the water. At this moment, there are around several
several thousand horses of this incredible and strong breed. Number 5. The Exmoor Pony The Exmoor horse, which looks really ancient, is Britain's most established local horse breed. They have fluctuating shades of brown. The tallness of their bodies ranges somewhere around 11.2 to 13.2 hands. They have strong hooves and can eat plants, including gorse bushes. In addition, they have thick eyelids, which shield their eyes from downpours. During the winter period, their tail develops short hair at the top, which is called snow shoot. Before the 1850s, these horses were called the horse beasts. Over a long time, semi-wild groups of these horses have lived out on the field year-round. Considering their old names of beasts, these horses have been utilized for ranch work, in the fields, and furthermore, for purposes of transportation. Right now, there are around 500 horses, with 19 distinct groups of Exmoor. Sadly, this breed almost went extinct during World War II due to being killed for horse meat or shooting practice targets by soldiers. Number 4. Falabella Horse The first miniature horse breed are the Falabellas. These are the only thoroughbred small-scale horse in the world. They max out at only around 8 hands. But being little doesn't mean that they are considered ponies. In fact, they are not ponies. These horses are native to the brutal environments of Argentina. They are easygoing and intelligent, alongside being strong, regardless of their size. As they can very easily adjust to cruel climate conditions, they require very little care. These small horses are utilized for riding, horse shows, driving, and surprisingly in kids' birthday celebrations. Though their present populace is under 2,000 around the world, they can live up to 45 years. That makes the Falabella horse the longest living horse on Earth, which is presumably because they have a regular-sized heart despite their small size. Number 3. Bashkir Horse Now, the Bashkir is one beautiful-looking breed with a unique coat. Coming all the way from the Bashkir locale of southern Russia, they sport a thick, wavy coat that offers shelter against the ruthless winters of the Ural Mountains. They truly appear like shaggy, adorable teddy bears that must be cuddled. Even its mane is gorgeously wavy, forming into long twists. At times, this horse breed is called the American Bashkir Curly, due to being very popular in North America. And, even though the American variation might seem like an original relative, examiners have never been able to avoid a quick association between the two breeds. It is more likely that during the last ice age, common ancestors might have crossed the land bridge, which resulted in the introduction of this breed in North America. North American or Russian aside, it will cost more than 5,000 US dollars to get a Bashkir horse. Number 2. Soraya Horse Native to southern Iberia, the Soraya is an ancient breed. They are believed to be the last leftovers of the native wild horses that wandered southern Iberia. Studies are right now being attempted to find the connection between the Soraya and other similar breeds, including the as of late wiped out Tarpan and different varieties originating from the Iberian Peninsula and northern Africa. The Soraya horse is little but sturdy and very much adjusted to the frequently unforgiving conditions of the regions where it lives. Sorayas are very easy to keep, requiring minimum care from their owners to stay fit. Even though independent in nature, once reinforced with their rider, they are faithful, willing, and flexible. Considering their appearance, their markings are normal, including a dark dorsal stripe, dark-tipped ears, flat striping on the legs, and a dull muzzle. Soraya horses have bi-shaded manes and tails, with lighter-hued hair bordering the two sides of the more drawn-out developing dark hair. Sorayas are exceptionally uncommon. There are only a shocking 200 remaining on the planet today. Number 1. The Norwegian Fjord Horse The Fjord Horse is one of the world's oldest horse breeds. Its original bloodlines can be traced back to around 4,000 years. Historians have arrived at the fact that this variety relocated to Norway hundreds of years ago, where it became trained. These horses have been bred for over 2,000 years. First used as a Viking war horse, this strong figure of the Norwegian Fjord Horse became fit for cultivating over later ages. This variety was so valued that flags for both Glopen and Eid in the Norwegian area of Njordfjord include fjord ponies on their ensigns. The presence of the Norwegian fjord horse makes it immediately unmistakable, and it's not difficult to see the reason why this variety was so particularly famous as a conflict mount and farm horse. While fjords stand 13.2 to 14.2 hands tall, they regularly gauge above and beyond 500 kilograms or 1,102 pounds. Despite their size, Norwegian fjord horses are known for being particularly peaceful, and the variety doesn't frighten easily. They are normally curious and attentive, and they know how to understand individuals well and change their energy appropriately. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!